Hey, let us talk about mythology again. This time, let's dive even further into our grim journey. But before we are starting, please like this video and subscribe, and if possible, share this video as well. Now, with that being said, let's get right into it. Beginning with Papa Lekpa, also a central figure in Haitian Wudu. He is revealed as the intermediary between the world of the living and the spirits. Known for his role at the crossroads, he controls access to the spirit world, making him a pivotal in voodoo ceremonies, where he is often the first and last spirit invoked. His association with the crossroads symbolizes his ability to open and close paths, not just in a physical sense, but also in spiritual and metaphorical terms. This positions him as the guardian of not only metaphysical thresholds, but also as a mediator of the afterlife. Lekpa's depiction varies, typically seen as an elderly man with a cane, embodying wisdom and connection to the spiritual world. His presence is marked by elements of both benevolence and trickery embodying the complexities of life's choices and consequences. As such, he is not just a guide, but also a protector who can offer new opportunities or remove obstacles, albeit with the expectation of respect and proper offerings from those who seek his aid. In rituals, Lekpa is essential for communication with the Lua, as he translates the languages and intentions of humans to the spirit world, ensuring that prayers and petitions are understood and responded to appropriately. This makes him an indispensable figure in the world of practice, embodying a bridge between humanity and the divine. Now, let's go into the Hindu mythology with Kali, the goddess of death, time and destruction. Marking her as a pivotal deity associated with the cycle of life and rebirth. Origins are tied to combative myths as she emerges as a ferocious figure, crafted from the rage of the goddess Durga during a battle with the demon Arktavicha. In this legend, Kali's role is crucial as she prevents the rise of further demons by consuming Arktavicha and drinking his blood, ensuring no drops hit the ground to spawn more adversaries. Depicted with stark, fearsome figures, such as a blue or black skin, a garland of gold, a skirt of severed arms, and a protruding tongue, Kali's imagery symbolizes her dominion over death and her role as the ultimate destroyer of evil. This fearsome aspect is balanced by a nurturing, motherly nature to her devotees, illustrating the duality of destruction and renewal inherent in her worship. Her iconography and attributes are laden with deep symbolism. Her blackness represents the all-encompassing nature of the void, from which everything emerges and eventually returns. The garland of skulls and severed hands signifies a dominion over time and karma, while her weapons and fierce demeanor highlight her role as a protector and liberator of those who seek her refuge from moral and spiritual peril. Venture with me into the shadowy realms of ontology, where hidden connections and forbidden knowledge await. Together, we will uncover the dark secrets that lie beneath the surface of these ancient tales, revealing that there is much more to mythology than mere stories, and there are profound truths waiting to be discovered. So, join me on this journey and let's explore the mysteries together. Thanks for watching.